there are only three steps to follow and the first step is to tell ChatGPT what you want to do so i've already written down what i want ChatGPT to do for me so i'm just going to copy this and come back to ChatGPT right here and what you want to do is click this pencil icon which will enable you to start a new chat now right here is where you're going to paste in the message telling ChatGPT what you want to do so for example you can see what i wrote i'm thinking of creating a children's coloring book for educational purposes specifically i want the kids to learn the alphabet as they do the coloring suggest me some illustrations i can use so you're going just to click enter and ChatGPT is going to give you some updates so you can see what ChatGPT is giving out so here you can see creating a children's coloring book to help them learn the alphabet is a fantastic idea here are some illustration ideas you can use for each letter so what you're going to do actually you're going to create a children's book GPT has given us some options like for the letter a we can use an apple an ant an airplane and getter and the like for a b we can use bow butterfly banana and the like so using this information from chat gpt we are actually going to create our digital product step two is simply to create the image illustrations using ai so we are going to generate the sketch images using a prompt like create a coloring image for a kite in black and white with simple black lines and since chat gpt has been updated and now we have access to the image generation feature everything is going to be done in chat gpt so for example the first one which is the letter a we've been given these example illustrations that we can use so what we can do let's say for example here you can actually generate the sketch images using a prompt like i have an example that i've written down here create a coloring image for a kite in black and white with simple black lines so let's say for, i copy this statement and come back to chat gpt and just paste it right here so in this case maybe let's say i'm creating an image for the letter k and if, if we check the letter k here we can see kite kangaroo key koala and the likes so let's see what chat gpt gives us as our illustration and you can see chat gpt has given us an illustration for our kite so let me go right ahead and do another example let's say for the letter c you can see here they've given us a cat car cake cow so i'm going to type in something like create a coloring image for a cat with black and simple bold lines so i'm just going to click enter so you can see the image that has been generated by chat gpt is a very very good image and kids will love to color this image so using this similar principle you are going to generate images for the entire letters of the alphabet feel free to create a coloring book for anything this is just an example that i'm showing you that you can actually follow how you do it you can do this for any other book or digital product that you desire for example the one i showed you in the beginning you can see this was actually a children's storybook the third step is to actually create the design in canva so just come to canva.com and here remember those of you that are going to watch this entire video till the very end i'm going to actually give you a bonus believe me you you are going to love it because it will help you make a lot of money if you are taking this seriously so here in canva what i want you to do is click on create a design and the good thing with canva is that you can actually do everything for free and they also have a pro version if you want to use the pro features but for now for this video we don't need the pro features so I'm just going to click on create a design and right here on the left what i want you to do is click on custom size now don't overthink it just do exactly what i'm doing and believe me you i know what i'm talking about then here on the units you want to make sure you change this to inches and what you're going to type here the width you're going to put 8.5 and the height is 11 and simply click on create new design so now we are ready to actually design our page for our coloring book now the other thing i like to do before i design anything is to give a name to my design so for example this one i've just called it a coloring book for kids you can name it whatever you want it's up to you then what i want to do right here on this blank page i want to have a place right here where we can add an image and maybe some place right here where there will be text so the first thing we're going to do here where it says elements just click on it and you're going to choose the square shape just click on it and it will be added to your blank page now once it is added you want to click on position right here under the advanced you want to make sure that this lock icon under the ratio is locked so simply click on it and the reason you're doing that you want to make sure that regardless of whatever you change here this shape will remain a square so now here under the width you want to type in 0.375 now when you do that canva will also put the same measurements for the height now here it will show you 0.38 because canva actually rounds off figures but don't worry the actual figure is 0.375 so just click away and you can see our shape has been resized so i'm just going to drag this to the top of the page and you have to make sure it's centered and once you have it there you are going to duplicate this and you're going to drag the other one to the bottom of the page like that also duplicate this and the other one you're going to drag it to the right and the final one to the left okay so once you've done this the next thing you're going to do is click on file and right here you want to click on settings and you want to click on 
show rulers and guides or you can just simply click shift plus r so i'm just going to click that one and you can see these guides that are appearing so we're going to drag this guide right here at the end like that another one like that then also another one to the bottom another one like that so once you have your lines like that you're going to come back to elements right here and you're going again to select the square shape now once you have it here you're going to fill it in inside these lines and you want to make sure that it's fitting perfectly like that okay click on this icon which is the color icon and you're going to choose no color like that and the borderline right here you're going to choose this borderline which is the first one and the size you want to reduce it to either one or two let's just use one and see how it looks like okay so once you have that one you can now turn off the grid lines and also you can remove these shapes so i'm going just to delete this and also turn off these grid lines by going to file settings the show grid lines off so you can see that is now our page so the next thing we're going to do is to add a frame option right here now a frame is just simply a placeholder where you can add an image so i'm just going to choose frames right here and i'm going to go with the square option for our frame right here and i'm going to position it somewhere the center and i'm going to drag this so that it is enlarged and just position it maybe somewhere here maybe enlarge it a bit okay so maybe something like that is good now don't worry you'll see why we're adding this frame just a moment then the other thing we want to do is add some text right here so i'm going to go to text then i'm going to choose add heading and type in something like text here and i'm going to drag this just right here then maybe enlarge it a bit like that then the other thing you want to do is to change the font style for the text remember we're creating a kids coloring book so just click on it and want to use a font that is applicable for a coloring book or something that kids would love to use so here where it says conversants just click on it and we're going to find a font known as lilita you can see it right here lilita one just click on it and that is our font that we're going to use and you can see this looks much better now the other thing we're going to add an effect to our text remember this is a coloring book so we're going to click on effect right here and what we're going to do is choose hollow we want the keys to also be able to actually color this text so when you click on hollow you can see this is now our text now the final part is to simply add your image so here where it says uploads i'm just going to click on uploads right here so you can see right here i have some images that are actually also created with ai now let me just go right ahead and upload the images that we've created in chat gpt so i'm going to add this one and just upload it to canva so once your image has been uploaded all you have to do now is to drag that image to your frame now watch what happens when you drag it it will automatically fit perfectly into the frame now if you want if you don't like the background of the image you can also remove the background of the image but for me i'm happy with this so let's just say i'm okay with this and canva has a background remover feature you can also do that and for the text we're just going to type in the name of what our image is and here i can type in just c for cut okay like that so if you are happy with the design you can proceed to creating the other pages so if you don't want to say c for cut you can just type, simply type in cut right here like that and if this is something that you prefer instead of saying c for cut it's all right even this design is very very good and you're going to duplicate this page and the reason we added a frame is because it makes it easy to replace the image so to add another image you just have to drag any image that you created with chat gpt and simply drag it to your frame and you can see this image fits in perfectly and right here on the name you just replace it with whatever you have so we have lion and you can see that our image has been created so look at this until you have for all the letters of your coloring book or whatever you are creating now if you are still here with me watching this video here is the bonus that i was actually talking about let me show you something that those that left this video without finishing will actually miss out on i have a template that i've already created that you can use to create coloring books and the reason you're going to be happy with this template is because it shows you the entire layout now those that have left the video don't know that you're supposed to actually to set it up this way so you can see this is the first page and the first page will be blank so let me just show you how it is this is the first page and the first page will be blank because coloring books actually you need to have this blank page for it to fit well now i'm going to show you where you're going to publish this coloring book and the second page is the copyright page so here you're just going to give it a title your title you're just going to place your title right here you can add in your name or your pen name the year of publication which will be 2024 or whatever year or 25 whichever year you're going
going to publish your ebook and also here you're going to leave this as it is so you're just going to scroll down and now you see there's a blank page and the first coloring page will appear on page five so for those that actually left this video without watching up to this point they don't know and they're going to struggle they might create a coloring page without blank pages in between them and believe it or not coloring pages need to have a blank page because the blank page is actually the back of the page and you don't want a kid to be painting on the first page they turn over the page to have something on the other page they just to be blank because that's the back of the page so you just need to create a blank page like that similarly here there should be a blank page like that so in between there's a blank page so you can actually change to grid view to see your images so you can see here you have the page right here a blank page page right here blank page then again you have a coloring page like right here now for those of you that are already watching this template right here will be given to you and it will be either in the description or the first comment make sure you give me a, leave me a comment on this video and make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that i know you are liking these types of videos we're just simply going to be dragging images of whichever product you are creating into the frames and once you do that and you complete this you're just going to download this and when you download it you're going to download it as a pdf you're going to click on download right here and you're going to change the file type to pdf and advisably you want to choose pdf print okay and right here you're going to download the finished product after you've added all the images now once you've downloaded the finished product you're going to come to a website known as kdp.amazon.com now this is a website by amazon which allows you to publish books on amazon for free you can become a kindle direct publisher so all you have to do is publish your book through this platform 